First of all, I just want to ask what you believe would happen with regards to the European arrest warrant if we were to leave the EU? I think you've got to ask the question, uh, would it throw it into jeopardy? Because uh, clearly the European arrest warrant has been in place for a number of years. Uh, I've set out a number of examples uh, where West Yorkshire Police have liaised directly with a number of European countries, brought serious criminals to justice, and I just really worry uh, that that's all going to be put in real jeopardy and at risk. And do you have any high-profile examples of when it's come into use? Yeah, the most recent case, very high-profile case, the attempted uh, murder and rape in Beeston, uh, an awful case uh, where detectives from West Yorkshire pursued that case uh, back to the Czech Republic and, uh, and secured that conviction. And without that cooperation and the European arrest warrant in place, then would that have happened? And can you tell us... How, how the contrast is between since we've had the European arrest warrant and how things were previously? Well, certainly in talking to the detectives and police officers who work on this uh, literally day by day, week by week, they say it's a massive improvement in terms of the, the cooperation that they receive throughout the European Union. And that's been built up over many years as well. And that's why I believe that the issue of security uh, with police forces and our National Crime Agency working with our European partners is something that needs highlighting as part of this uh, European referendum campaign. And can you give us an idea of how it helps out with terrorism at home? Absolutely, again, this is about sharing intelligence, making sure that uh, we're protecting our citizens right across the UK and in Europe as well, and, and obviously having the European arrest warrant in place and those protocols enables that to happen in a much more systematic way than, than pulling out of Europe and having to renegotiate something new. If we were to pull out and had to renegotiate, how would you see that going? Well, the mere fact of being put into that situation in the first place is not helpful at all. Uh, we've heard similar arguments haven't we, on the trade agreements. It's a pretty similar situation around security. And, you know, for, for, to have to sit down again and try and reinvent the wheel at a time when we need to be pulling together to keep all our citizens safe, I think sends out the wrong message.